Hooray! It's payday. Time to savor the fruits of your labor and indulge in the rewards you've earned. That new restaurant everyone's been craving about? Well, now's your chance to give it a try. You can finally clear out your shopping cart and relish in the joyous occasion that is payday. While there might not be any holding back now, hold on just a moment before you go on a spending spree. Here are eight things you should consider doing when that paycheck arrives. Number one, pay yourself first. Ah, the feeling of getting paid is still fresh and exhilarating. However, reality quickly sets in when you realize there are bills to pay, groceries to buy, and credit card balances to settle. It's not the most exciting part of payday, but it's a responsibility we can't avoid. It's easy to get caught up in paying your bills and expenses right away, but here's a thought. Pay yourself first. Treat your savings account like a monthly bill that needs to be paid too. Take a leaf out of the book of the legendary billionaire Warren Buffett, who famously said, do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. It's essential to prioritize yourself and your savings before you allocate funds for other expenses. And when I say pay yourself, I don't just mean bills. Picture this. You've paid your bills. What's next? It's tempting to think you've been responsible, so you deserve to splurge and have fun. But remember to set aside something for yourself before letting loose. It's the perfect way to strike a balance between hard work and enjoying the fruits of your labor. Work hard, play hard, right? Number two. Save for emergencies. Now that you've paid yourself, let's talk about the importance of saving for emergencies. I can already hear the collective sighs and questioning looks. Why do I need emergency savings when I've just paid myself? Well, here's the thing. The money you set aside for yourself shouldn't be considered your entire savings. Trust me, if you dip into that for an unexpected emergency, you'll regret it. Emergencies, whether big or small, have a knack for showing up when you least expect them. They don't discriminate. They can happen to anyone at any time. That's why it's crucial to be prepared so they don't catch you off guard. Instead of worrying without taking action, plan ahead and create a safety net for financial surprises. That's why it's called an emergency. It can strike at any moment. Building a systematic emergency fund is the second step to take when you receive your paycheck. Let me share a story from my younger days. When I was 21, I visited Las Vegas and witnessed people traveling far and wide just to engage in activities that would cost them money in the long run. It made me realize the importance of making wise decisions with our finances. In the stock market, for example, people make decisions that affect prices. Every now and then, it's essential to step back and question if those prices make any sense. By defining emergencies strictly, we can avoid mistaking a phone or car upgrade for an emergency. A sudden car breakdown or unexpected medical bills, however, qualify as emergencies. Take a moment to calculate how much you would need to survive if you lost your source of income. Multiply that figure by six to nine months and strive to save up to that amount. Remember, emergency savings are not meant to generate profits. They provide a safety cushion to protect your long-term savings and investments from unforeseen short-term expenses. Three. Create a budget. Before you dive headfirst into enjoying your hard-earned money, it's essential to set a budget that allows you to have fun without emptying your entire income. I get it. Budgeting can sometimes feel constricting, as if you don't have enough. But that's because you might not have experienced the true power of budgeting done right. When you understand the purpose behind budgeting, it becomes a game changer. A budget is your guiding light, showing you how to allocate your resources wisely. When you create a budget and stick to it, you gain control over how you allocate your income. And the best part? You can spend guilt-free, knowing that you've already set aside funds for your priorities. So, make sure to create a budget as soon as you get paid, ensuring that you don't exhaust your entire income at once. 4. Repay your debt. Okay, I know, this is probably the least exciting part of payday. It can be a downer, no doubt about it. But unfortunately... It's a responsibility you can't escape. The best time to tackle your debt is right after you get paid. I understand the desire to relax and enjoy your money, but repaying any debt should be a priority. This includes all types of debt, loans, late payments, and especially high interest debt. 
Start by focusing on high interest debt because the longer you take to pay it off, the more interest you accumulate. Trust me, none of us want to spend most of our income repaying debt. 5. Invest 20% of your income. Now I know I might sound like the party pooper here, but trust me, you'll thank me later. While many people are hesitant to invest due to the countless horror stories they've heard, it's crucial to overcome your fear of risk. Success often requires taking calculated risks, and the same goes for investing. Warren Buffett once said that risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. So, educate yourself and conduct thorough research before diving into investments. Many individuals make the mistake of thinking they have all the time in the world to start saving or investing, but time is valuable, and you can never buy back the time you lose. Don't delay investing because you think you need more money or want to wait until the next payday. Start now, even with a small amount, and watch it grow over time. 6. Develop a spending plan. In addition to having a budget and sticking to it, it's crucial to create a spending plan when you receive your paycheck. While having a budget sets the framework, a spending plan helps you navigate the inevitable challenges that may arise. Sometimes, strict adherence to a budget can be difficult, and unexpected situations may require adjustments or slightly increased spending in certain areas. Life happens, and flexibility is necessary. Even if you manage your income diligently, having a spending plan is essential. Without it, you may not fully understand where your hard-earned money goes, despite having a budget in place. Waiting for your income to increase before taking action is understandable, but it's best not to wait. Learning to manage and maximize what you already have is key. 7. Keep some cash. Cash is still king. Don't believe me? Look at Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, who staunchly advocate keeping a significant amount of cash on hand. They maintain billions of dollars in cash for emergencies or unexpected opportunities. While we live in a predominantly cashless society, going cashless isn't a bad thing. I enjoy the convenience of card payments and online shopping. However, it doesn't diminish the importance of having cash readily available. When I get paid, I make it a habit to keep some cash with me. It helps me limit the frequency of ATM withdrawals and most importantly, it prevents me from constantly dipping into my savings. Carrying a few hundred dollars in cash provides a sense of security and financial stability. 8. Outsource your time. Time is money, and wasting it on mundane tasks is unnecessary when you can outsource them and focus on more productive endeavors. Consider outsourcing activities like grocery shopping, laundry, cleaning, or food preparation. If you don't mind delegating these tasks, you can utilize the save time for activities that bring you more value, such as rest, meditation, exercise, or even creating additional income streams. The possibilities for utilizing your outsourced time are endless. You could explore freelancing, babysitting, starting a podcast, or launching a YouTube channel. By outsourcing and reclaiming your time, you open up opportunities to enhance your financial well-being and personal growth. There you have it. The 8 steps to take when you receive your paycheck. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. If you're determined to transform your finances and achieve financial freedom, I highly recommend watching this informative video.